And welcome back to another episode of the Credit Authority. Once again, I am your host, Rhonda Kulch, and I am so glad you stayed tuned in. We always want to start our segments by thanking our sponsor. So thank you so much to Equity First. If you are experiencing credit and or financial challenges, feel free to reach out to any one of their trained professionals. They are bilingual, nationwide, and ready to take your call. They can be reached at 631 714 48 22. And in studio with us now is a friend of mine, Steve Martin with Interstate Home Loans. How are you? Doing great. So nice to see you again. Yeah, I know. I haven't seen you in a little bit. So I wanted to take the opportunity to really pick your brain, right? So every week we try to highlight somebody from the financial space to talk about what's happening in the market and things that maybe, or I should say niche products that they're offering that maybe just might be the best fit for a client and offer them some opportunity. So I know that we've spoken before about a product that you're offering right now called the All-in-One. Yes, the All-in-One loan, it's absolutely unique. Uh, it's such a weird time for you know the, the real estate market right now where rates are going higher, property values are kind of stagnating, even sometimes starting to see a little bit of dip in other parts of the country. So you want to have enough flexibility for every type of buyer out there. What I'm noticing a lot of is people purchasing investment properties. The all-in-one loan is great for investors and business owners. It offers liquidity, same way as a line of credit, but it's a 30-year revolving loan and it's a first lien product. So a lot of times in this type of an economy, business owners need liquidity and they have to apply for a line of credit every time or an increase or if they need new credit, they have to apply for it and hope they get approved with the ever-changing guidelines different max LTV requirements based on their cash flow, or if it's a home equity line of credit based on their LTV, it's kind of hard to have consistency and know exactly what you can get at any time. The all-in-one loan is a one-time close revolving line of credit for the first lien on your property, not a second lien home equity line. It revolves for 30 years. And what I think the cool part about it is when you do cash out to buy an investment property, let's say, like a lot of real estate investors, you're stuck with that payment for 30 years. Even if you prepay it, you know, pay down half the mortgage, your next month's payment is still the same amount for 360 payments. The all-in-one loan allows you to leverage a property, whether it's an investment, second home, or primary residence. And let's say you sell another property down the road and you pay that off. The following month, you have no payment due. So it maximizes your profit margins, lower your expenses month to month. And real estate investors love the product these days. Um, what I am seeing is a, a trend switch into buying investment properties. Wall Street's doing it. BlackRock bought 15% of the market. So a lot of people are trying to either get into the investment property business or, of course, continue expanding as property values kind of stagnate. And it makes the most sense having access to liquidity anytime for 30 years straight. I'm just like mind blown right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just like zo I'm zoned in listening to this because you're right. It's an exceptionally unique prop um, offering to people that are looking to purchase property. Of course, now you know with that, I'm going to have to ask you some questions such as what kind of loan to value are we looking at? So for primary residences in New York, it's a 75% loan to value. Outside of New York, you can go up to an 80% loan to value. Here's the cool part. As you know, you cannot get home equity lines of credit, any revolving credit on second homes or investment properties. Correct. This product you can use on an investment property, second home, and their LTVs are still upwards of 70% in New York and 75% out of New York. Are these loan requirements, because again, I know you're, you're promoting it to that investor self-employed market. Are these full doc loans? They are full doc loans. Absolutely. And you're qualifying at the full max that you're taking. Max amount as mm -hmm. well as the cap rate. Um, so real quick on the interest rates. The other cool thing is you can do three or five year fixed rate options. If we think rates are going to continue going up, which a lot of you know analysts do believe we're going to see over the next couple of years, yeah. you can fix your rate right now, three to five years. And again, always refinance down the road. If we think rates are going down, they also go off the month to month uh, CMT. So mm -hmm. if we think rates are going to trend down for a few months, great. You have the ability to do that. Um, that said, cap rate, max line amount, that's what they qualify you at. They keep you at a, a QM DTI, which no, for the uninitiated, it's yeah. a 43% max back end. And it makes sense. So it's not for everybody. But for the type of borrowers that this fills a gap, it's unlike anything else. I, I still have, <laughs> I'm laughing because 
I have people I can think of right now that would benefit tremendously for this type of a product. So my next question related to this product is when qualifying, when we use the term line of credit, we generally think of or we've explained lines of credit as, you know, jumbo credit cards. Are these fixed? I know you're saying that the payment stays the same. So is it a fixed rate and term that you just have the ability to pay it down and reuse? So it, it's similar. It's not a fixed payment. It's based on kind of like a line of credit, the average daily collected balance. So whatever your balance is for 30 days out of that month, they do an average and that by the interest rate is what your next month's payment is. So uh, hypothetically speaking, if you treat it like a regular mortgage, which you can, you will have pretty close to a fully amortized 30 year payment. The neat part about the product is they open up a sweep checking account for you. You get a debit card for it. You get a, a checkbook for it. You can do wires, ACHs, all your normal banking needs can be filled by this product. That's why they call it the all in one. It's personal banking mixed with home finance. So let's say you're the type of person that has a W-2 salary. Maybe your spouse has a side business. You have revenue coming in from investment properties, whatever it may be. You can connect the all-in-one product or rather your incoming revenue to this bank account. So now that person may be putting their money into a checking account where you're earning no interest. It's not saving you money anywhere. Alternatively, with the all-in-one, you could have all your incoming revenue go into that bank account. And guess what? You're not earning interest on it but you're saving yourself interest on the loan that you have in your mortgage. So again, next month's payment is now lower as you pay down that balance. And when you need liquidity, no need to apply, don't need to call anybody, write a check, do a wire, it comes right out of that bank account. It's a place to store your money to lower your expenses for next month. I love it. So obviously, when we're speaking about traditional lending and traditional mortgage, we're speaking about selling off in the secondary market. We're speaking about which investors are picking up on these types of products. So my question is, is this a product unique to interstate? Yeah, this is unique to interstate. I recently was certified in it a few months ago. There are not many people offering this product. There are others out there. And as far as servicers go, there's two. Okay. So this isn't something you can go into your local bank and ask about. It is a unique product. That's why it's special. And we're here talking about it today. So, of course, we're going to talk about the insensitive part. What kind of rates are we looking at? So the three to five year fixed. Last time I priced it out was about a month ago. It was at 8%. This is during a time when your investment properties were at, you know, seven and a half, seven, six, two, five. Mm -hmm. So it's not a huge premium that you're paying like you would on non-QM financing. You know, non-QM financing, they're going even higher these days. Um, it's about a percentage point off. It's probably in the mid sevens now. It's about a percentage point off from like your regular 30 year fixed. And that's a three and five year fixed. If you do the month to month CMTs, um, it's obviously based on your qualifications, your credit yeah. score. Um, and it's going to be a, a margin plus an index. Are these, because they're lines of credit, are you still escrowing for taxes and insurance or is that a separate requirement? No, it's a first lien. So you can escrow for taxes and insurance. Yep. So this way, if you pay this completely down, you still have your tax and insurance payment, but you have no payment due to your mortgage until you use it again. And you could go 30 years, you know, 29 years without using it. And then that last year, use it again. And it just resets. Now you have another three, 30 year amortized payment. You know, it's not it's not like a balloon payment or with a, uh, a line of credit, you know, after 10 years, it's no longer revolving. The last 20 years, now you're just on a 20-year loan, which is higher payments than it would be on a 30. Yeah, of course. Yep. Now, in reference to the product, let's just say we are where we are in today's market, right? The market meaning it's been stabilized. But had this product had been offered, let's just say, four years ago, and when we had the market boom two years ago, is somebody able to call in and ask for a credit line increase based upon the new loan to value? Correct. Essentially, it's it's still a refinance because they're extending more credit to you. But four years ago, it would have been a great product. Doing the month-to-month -month CMT, your rates are just going lower and lower and lower. It makes all the sense in the world. And then, you know, when we get into the twos on the 30-year rates, yeah. I'm going to fix this for three to five years, protect myself. So absolutely. You just give a call into the bank, they review your documents, and they extend more credit. Is this product something that's specific to New York? Or do you have the ability to underwrite these products nationwide or specific to certain states? Correct. All over the country. Um, there's no limitations on countries. The only difference about New York, it's treated as you know, a separate entity sometimes. They lower the loan to value requirements. But outside of that, 
all over the country offers it, offers it and you can do it on a primary investment, second home. If you own a number of properties in Pennsylvania, that's where you rent out, no problem. You can put all in ones on them and use them for the liquidity and leverage it when you need it. So now I'm still, I, I know I keep plugging away. I had like a hundred questions that I wanted to go over with you about the market. And um, well, congratulations for stumping me. <laughs> I don't normally just take the whole time to speak about one product, but this is um, really eye-opening, I think, for a lot of people. And I am so glad that you were able to get on the show today. 